Hey, it's Rachel, a guilt-free positive parenting specialist bringing relief to helpless, overwhelmed parents who want to raise responsible, confident children without adding more stress or guilt to your lives. Today I'm going to talk about what to do when your child takes a long time to do everything, from getting dressed in the morning, to eating meals, to doing homework. Let's say you need to make it to an appointment by a certain time and your son is taking his good old time getting ready and getting out the door. You've mentioned to him at least five times to keep moving, but he just doesn't go any faster. As you act responsibly and keep an eye on the time, you probably get extraordinarily frustrated and start to yell or make threats about what you'll take away if he doesn't hurry up. Of course you would, as would any parent, because you want to to be responsible and you know what will happen if you don't make it to that appointment on time. But yelling or reminding kids what they have to do won't actually make them complete tasks any faster. Because nagging kids to hurry up doesn't t- consider the fact that there are reason that kids take so long to do things like that. One common reason that kids are so slow is because the tasks that they're doing are boring to them and they get easily distracted by the things that are not boring. The truth is that kids' brains are wired to seek novelty and stimulation, and if the thing they're asked to do doesn't provide that, they'll they'll find something that does, whether it's something in their minds or something in their environment. The truth is, is that if children weren't wired to seek this novelty and stimulation, they wouldn't learn new things and be curious about the world around them, and that really wouldn't be good for them either. At the same time, children learn need to learn to be responsible, right? So what do we do? Well, the solution is to show them how to make boring tasks less boring so they actually can get through them more quickly. So here are tips for depositing into kids' accounts and toolboxes. Tip number one, the in-the-moment tip, is when you want your child to do something more quickly, teach them how to make a boring task more challenging or stimulating. So this sounds like, Hey, Julie, getting your shoes on seems to be really slow going this morning. Do you think you could finish before I sing the alphabet? Or, Sam, you're having trouble getting through your homework today. What if we throw a ball after every long question that you answer? The key is to mentally and physically stimulate your child so that they are stimulated enough to do a boring task. Of course, you don't want to make the challenge even more of a distraction. Just give them a small mental or physical challenge that will provide some small stimulation for them. Now, tip number two, which is the proactive tip, is to teach them how to handle monotony in other situations. Because as nice as it is to help kids make boring tasks less boring, they need to learn how to do that on their own. So the next time they're struggling with their homework, let them know that you understand how boring and tough it can be, and then say, what could you do to make it less torturous for you to get through your homework? And give them opportunities to face boring tasks. There are plenty of those in the world. Proactively help them brainstorm how they will get through sitting through a boring class or even falling asleep at night. Whenever you let your kids face their discomfort, in this case, having to do things they don't want to do, you're setting them up for success in life. So I hope those two tips give you some ideas for how to handle it when your child moves so slowly during certain tasks. If you want more information about how to motivate your kids to listen to you, ask me about the Parenting by Deposit program where I will teach you how to raise kids who feel good about themselves and make healthy choices, even if you're not a perfect parent and never will be. I'll see you next time.